Good day, folks. Today we will show you all the moments when the sharks lost millions. Toy Guru Nikki created Toy Guru. This is a subscription based toy renting system that allows you to subscribe and pay monthly fees while having a new set of toys for your child every month. With her pitch, she highlighted that her company is the Netflix for toys. The sharks were impressed with the idea, so Kevin O'Leary made her an offer. They're never going to forget me, put it to you that way. Are you holding at your 100000 for 35 I'm thinking. While Kevin is convincing Nikki to accept her offer of 100000 for 35%, Robert and Mark decided to team up as well to make an offer of 200000 for 40% of the company. World. Once we have the customers, trust me, there's no problem going to Mattel and these you know, toy companies. There's so many they guys that provide internet logistics. In the end, Nikki accepted Kevin's offer because he made his offer of $200,000 for 35% and on top of that he partnered with Cuban. All these happened so fast, but the downfall of Toy Guru was faster since it failed miserably with the execution of the business. As Kevin would mark it, it was his worst investment. You're out, Nicole. <laughs> Robert, cut you out! Robert, I'm so sorry. I'm very excited. This is a great idea. Kate app. This is a cheating program. Neil Desai has designed an application that can rapidly hide selected contacts and includes a slew of privacy features. Kevin O'Leary and Damon John offered Desai $70,000 in exchange for a 35% stake in the company. In reality, it's a privacy app. Well, let's call a spade a spade. It's a cheater's app. I'm okay with that. It's a cheater's app. <laughs> Good for you, Neil. Go with it, baby. Own it. Nil. The Kate app is perhaps one of the most regrettable transactions for the sharks, as the software's bad side as a cheater's app is that it can be downloaded on a phone without the user's knowledge, allowing someone to track all calls and messages. That's a little naughty. The app was shut down around a year after it first appeared. We got a deal. I love this guy! Sweet balls. This is one of the worst scam deals on Shark Tank because of the business owner's personal feud. James McDonald and Cole Edger came in to pitch their Cake Balls, which is basically a cake pop available in a more elegant and convenient way. He loves a fresh cake ball, but very few are interested in spending the hours it takes to create them. Sharks are what we did is take an already popular product, the Cake Pop and we gave it a makeover. Mark Cuban and Barbara Corcoran teamed up and invested a combined $250,000. But soon enough, these two business owners started turning on to one another and now the cake pop business is in a state of disarray. And our My cookies mama? and cream sweet balls? <laughs> More like cookies and scream the way these taste. These things are good, these are good. So which one of you sharks are ready to make some sweet, <laughs> sweet dough with our sweet balls? Breathometer. Charles Michael Yim is the creator of Breathometer, and the product's main purpose will astound you. By inventing a gadget that can be readily attached to a phone, he was able to make the breathalyzer compact and easy to take around. It can track if you're too intoxicated to drive, and even call a cab with the push of a button. With some friends, having some champagne. Would anyone care for a glass? Yes, please. Yes. Sure. <laughs> Yeah, well, I, th I thought you were joking. Yeah. Thank you. All of the sharks invested for the first time in Shark Tank history. Who would want to carry one of these bulky old breathalyzers around? So that's why I created Breathometer, the world's first smartphone breathalyzer. It turns out that they will all lose at the same moment. In a segment where the sharks had to discuss some of the known pitches on the show. Plug it into the smartphone, activate the app, Within a matter of seconds, you'll be able to know what your breathometer was featured. They said that the Federal Trade Commission shut down the app when it proved to be unreliable. That's a million dollars squandered. It can even tell you how long it'll take to sober up. And if need be, you can even hail a cab with a push of a button. So please join me on this mission to help people make smarter. Gala Bentley Fashion. Is there a high-end clothing line for plus-sized women? Gayla Bentley presented her clothing brand, which specializes in beautiful fashion for plus-sized women. Barbara Corcoran and Damon John each put in $250,000 for a 50% stake in the company. Apparently we'd buy lots of accessories, and I'd come home and tell my husband, again, we're back from this European travel, and all my women have accessories and no clothes. That is one of Shark Tank's largest transactions. Little did they know that it would also be the show's biggest swindle. The firm went dormant after a month, and Gala was nowhere to be found. And he said, well, I think it's time for you to learn 
the technical end and why don't we do our own collection? And it's not cheap to make these kind of couture collections. She simply took all the money and never communicated with her sharks again. To this day, both sharks consider this to be the worst deal they ever agreed to. And that's probably what got you your deal in the end. Well, Jason, this is one thing I know for sure. I probably know more about this field than most women in our country. You smell. Megan Cummings turned a bar soap into a twist. She made it smell much better than before. She invented the You Smell soap line, and the sharks were enthralled by her presentation. Her items will be a breath of fresh air in the market, and she has agreed to work with Robert Herjavec for $55,000. A $55,000 investment? You Smell is a new luxury soap brand that's a breath of fresh air in an oftentimes snooty marketplace. Personality. Following the show, there were changes to the arrangement that caused Megan to walk out, and eventually Robert abandoned her with no deal at all. But we didn't actually make a deal. Um, it was a really great experience, um, but in the end, it's just the two of us working in our home office. On and our two small. cats. And our two cats. Body Jack. The body jack was designed by Jack Beringer to assist him in doing push-ups. However, one of the investors proposed that Beringer reduce weight in order to acquire investment money. According to Barbara Corcoran, the creator had to lose 30 pounds. He did, and $180,000 was invested in his company. You try your new machine out, you lose 30 pounds. Cactus, do we have a deal? I'll take your deal. Hey, good job. But sadly, the agreement didn't work out. The company just appears to have fallen apart for no apparent reason. Kevin O'Leary, who said that Cactus would never lose the weight. Well, guess what, Kevin? Eat your heart out. Look at him now. I'm gonna be laughing all the way to the back. Show no towels. Shelly Eller is a mother of two who walked into Shark Tank to sell her idea for Show No Towels, a product that prevents children at water parks from being seen while changing their clothes. Parents can give their children Show No Towels and they will be able to change on the moment without having to go to the restroom. About the product as I am about you. I don't see it selling. I'm out. Let me ask you the most difficult question. Even if Shelley's personality and drive are the strength of the business, it wasn't enough to keep the business afloat. Lori Grainer is the shark that jumped into the deal. Show no towels are no longer in production. I like you so much that actually what I'm going to do is, I'm gonna write you a check right now. Oh my God. Night Runner. We've all gone jogging at night, and it's not only annoying but also dangerous because you can't see what you're sprinting by. This is the issue that Night Runner was able to solve. Renata and Doug Storer pitched their trail lighting running shoes with rechargeable LED lights. They were able to secure an offer from Robert Herjavec, who offered $250,000 for a 15% stake in the company. They provide 270 degrees of visibility around you, wow. 150 lumens oh, wow. out in front with a 30 foot beam distance to identify any. The sale, however, did not go through after the broadcast because the business owners changed their minds. I accept your offer of $250,000. <laughs> wow. I just want an interesting outcome. I'm going with Laurie. This is where we'll end our video. We hope you enjoyed watching. Make sure to comment, hit the like and subscribe buttons, hit that notification bell for more videos like this, share this video with your family and your friends, and we'll see you soon.